We are going to read Who Eats What, Food Chains and Food, food Webs um, by Patricia Lauber and illustrated by Holly Keller. We will read this story and identify main topic over a couple pages afterwards. So who eats what? Food chains and food webs. A caterpillar is eating a leaf on an apple tree. Later, the caterpillar is spotted by a wren. It becomes part of the wren's dinner. Still, later the wren is eating, eaten by a hawk. Leaf, caterpillar, wren, and hawk are all linked together. They form a food chain. Each is a link in the chain. The hawk is at the top of the food chain because no other animal attacks and eats hawks. The animal at the top of the food chain is always the last eater, the one nobody else eats. Suppose you eat an apple off the tree. That makes you part of a short food chain, the apple and you. You are at the top of the food chain. Or suppose you drink a glass of milk. Now you are at the top of a slightly longer food chain. The milk came from a cow and the cow ate grass. So this chain is grass, cow, you. Every time you eat a meal, you become the top of several food chains. You can draw a picture to show them. If you had a peanut butter and jelly sandwich, a glass of milk, and an apple, the picture might look like this. Food is the fuel our bodies need. Food keeps us alive. It gives us energy we need to grow, move, and do many other things. The same thing is true for caterpillars, wrens, hawks, for all animals. All must find or catch the foods they need. When you draw a food chain, you are drawing a flow of energy. The arrow shows its path. There are many, many food chains, more than anyone could count, but in one way they are all alike. All food chains begin with green plants. Green plants are the only living things that can make their own food. They are the only living things that do not need to eat something else. Green plants take energy from sunlight. They use it to make food out of water and air. All animals depend on green plants for food, even animals that don't eat plants. Hawks, for example, do not eat green plants, but the hawk ate the wren that ate the caterpillar that ate the leaf of a green plant. And so the hawk is linked to green plants through the food chain. It needs the plants as much as the caterpillar does. Take a walk and look around. You will see parts of many food chains. Look at the leaves and flowers of plants. Look at the bark of trees. Look at fruits, nuts, and seeds that have fallen to the ground. What animals are eating them? You might see a grasshopper eating a blade of grass. You may not see another animal eat the grasshopper, but you can find out which animals eat grasshoppers by going to the library. You can read up on grasshoppers and any other animal you've seen. You can draw food chains. Your drawings will show that one plant may be the start of several food chains. The leaves of an oak tree may be food for caterpillars. Beetles may bore into the tree's trunks. Acorns are food for squirrels, chipmunks, blue jays, and deer. The drawings will also show that most animals are part of several food chains. Chipmunks, for example, eat many foods. They eat nuts, seeds, berries, buds. They may also eat insects, snails, and other small animals. And chipmunks themselves are eaten by weasels, bobcats, foxes, coyotes, hawks. These animals may also eat some of the things chipmunks eat. Try drawing some of the food chains on one page. You will have arrows branching in all directions. Now you have drawn a food web. Food webs are made up of many food chains. On land, most food chains are short, but scientists still have much to learn about them. They have even more to learn about food chains in the seas. These chains are long. They are also hard to study because most of the plants and animals live underwater. In the water, as on the land, food chains begin with green plants. Some of the plants are tiny. You need a microscope to see them. Some are bigger. The green plants are food for many tiny creatures, which become food for bigger creatures. Small fish are eaten by bigger fish, which are still eaten by bigger fish, which are eaten by even bigger fish.